Digital TV. Uh, in today's video, we are going. To, I'm going to give you ten places that you can visit when you come to Nakuru City. Uh, number one, we have, uh, number one is Lake Nakuru. So Uh, it has a very nice view of Lake Nakoro. There are wild animals there, like we have uh, antelopes, name them a uh, wild dog, all of them. So inside uh, Lake Nakoro, we have they have means of transport. When you go there, you pay. I think it's two thousand eight hundred. I, I can't recall the prices, but when you go there, you pay, and then uh, you can take a car of six people, or you can also go with your car. But going to with your car is a bit expensive. So then, uh, but if you don't mind, you can still go with your car. Uh, so they charge you, and then they you can take the if you don't have a car, they take you. You pay, and then they take you around, and you. You, you'll find all wild animals there and the beautiful view of Lake Nakoro and also inside there inside there they have uh, they have a, a hotel a very nice hotel inside inside there uh, surrounded by wild animals so most people go there to enjoy especially at night uh, being sleeping can you imagine sleeping in the middle of wild animals can you imagine that so all that is provided there in Lake Nakuru and the second Place that you can visit here in Nakuru is Hyrax Hill. So Hyrax Hill is just um, is, is a historical site. Uh, also here in Nakuru, uh, it is. It, 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 uh, when you go there, you learn the history of Kenya, the history of uh, different tribes. and what happened most of the things there are about history and if you love history you can visit that place it's an amazing amazing place it's located in a somewhere in a small hill i don't know whether to call it a hill yeah it's a hill so uh hyrax hill is just there and that is why it's called hyrax hill because it's somewhere in a hill but it's a very interesting place so when you come to nakoro you can also visit stories of how tribes used to fight, tribes used to hide from each other, all those kind of stories about Kenya, about the tribes of Kenya. So if you want that type of information, be sure to visit Hyrax Hill because it, you will love it. You will definitely fall in love with that place. Third place that you can always visit here in Nakuru, especially if you are a person who loves hiking, those people who love hiking, those people who love hiking, uh, you can always visit Creator. Creator, that and that is Menengai Creator. It's called Menengai Creator. So it's also here in Nakuru. It's a very very beautiful place. It's a tourist attraction here in Nakuru, and most people come come uh, here to hike. Uh, Uh, visit creator to hike 
and also take beautiful pictures there. So it's a it's a it's a it's a creator that erupted, and it. I don't know even how to explain to you guys. So if you love hiking, if you also love things to do with with the eruption, you can visit that place. So it's a very beautiful place. And the 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 fourth one, I think it's the fourth one, right? So the fourth one is Intake Falls. I know most people don't know about Intake Falls. So Intake Falls has been uh, discovered recently. Uh, it's it's it, it's located in Mailisaba. I don't know whether you guys know. Mailisaba is past Mailisita. So coming from town, we have Mailimoja, Mailimbili, Mailitatu, Mailine, Mailitano, Mailisita, Mailisaba, Mailinane, Mailitisa, Adi Mailikumi. Inaitwa Mailimoja. Mailimoja is up with our state house. For those who know state house, where state house is. So, so when you you there at Mailisaba, we have a, an Intake fall, intake falls, which has been discovered recently, and I know most people don't know about it. It's a very, very beautiful place. Place in the middle of a forest where we have a waterfall, like that one of Nyakururu. It's a waterfall like that of Nyakururu. For those, for those of you who have visited Nyahururu. So Intake Falls uh, looks just like uh, that one of Nyahururu and it's a very very beautiful place especially that forest. It has it is located in the middle of a very very beautiful beautiful forest. So that is another place for those people who love nature, for those people who love also hiking because it's somewhere where you will it's like a mountain so you will climb so that one is also for people who love hiking so 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 much and for those who love water the sounds of nature that one is the place for you here in Nakuru so you can always visit Intake Falls you can also google it it's, it's just there at Miley Saba not far from Miley Saba you just get in with some distance so and the other place is the Lord Egerton Castle. So the Lord Igaton Castle is in, is in Joro. Joro is still in Nakoro City. So this is a castle where we had a, a Igaton was a person who came here to Kenya at castle for his lover. Uh, but when the lover came here to Kenya, he said that the the, the, the castle had uh, had uh, windows that were not even numbers and that meant that that house was a bad omen so she went back to the plane and went went back to london so uh, the lord egerton decided that he will never marry he was so disappointed because he loved this woman so 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 much so after he died he said that his will he wrote that this girl he would want his that castle to become a school a school for men only he didn't want any woman to attend that that school so when he, he died the government respected him and it became a school and that's why we have Lord Egerton but the government uh, removed that uh, that part of not at time so the government uh, did not uh, comply to his will of uh, having that school for men only so we also have ladies in Egerton University, all schools of Egerton, we have ladies. So that is, it's a very, very beautiful place. It's a monumental place. We have, uh, there we have a garden, a very beautiful. There I saw people going there to celebrate people's birthday. You can take your friend there, you can take your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your family. You can also do a wedding there, by the way, guys. Uh, it's a, it has a very, uh, large ground where it, it can accommodate uh, almost more than a thousand people for a wedding so it's a, it's a being that it has uh, the green uh, sense of nature it's a very beautiful place and most people also take uh, you can also go for photography there you can do a wedding there you can go there to just chill you know 
you can also take your kids uh, on a weekend and you know they'll enjoy so that is another place that you can visit when you come here in Nakuru city and the other part is uh, the other place that you can visit which is very recent it's called Cypress Park so Cypress Park is um, Cypress Park is a there were maize silos there were maize silos that were converted into a very very beautiful um, what is it called facility for kids fun activities for kids especially we, uh, we have uh, kids trains there we have um, we all kind of games by the way guys I have done a video there in Cypress Park you can also visit my previous video I think I'll put a link on that so that you can watch that video of Cypress Park it's a very very beautiful place they have hotels in there when I left there they were constructing a, a cinema hall so I don't know whether I've not visited yet again so I don't know whether it's complete but they were working on a cinema hall a movie theater hall so it, it, it was actually they have converted those maze silos they are the ones that have been converted to they have a hotel on one of the maze silos on another one they have the what are they called visual something they have another one on that and then we have so they have a swimming pool also so guys the last one is Ziwa Lodge so Ziwa Lodge is on your way to Njoro uh, it's a very nice 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 place it's a uh, it's surrounded by nature and it's somewhere that you can take your family they have a swimming pool they have cottages that are surrounded by trees it's a very very nice place so those are the 10 places that I thought I would share with you guys because I think these places are amazing here in Akuru city and most people have, have been asking me what is it what is good what is so good about Nakuru where can, where can I visit in Nakuru and I think those are the most most uh, popular and very interesting places that you can always visit here in Nakuru city so guys i hope you have enjoyed this video and if there is one place that i've not mentioned that you think is dope and i have forgotten to mention that place you can always uh, comment let me know that place in the comment section leave me a comment i'll appreciate it please guys don't forget to like this video uh, like like like